Exciting news has just arrived for those receiving SSI and SSDI benefits. Congress has officially approved $2,000 stimulus checks, and the best part is that these funds could be in your bank account within the next 48 hours. In this video, we'll walk you through everything you need to know. We'll explain who qualifies for these payments, the exact timeline for when you can expect the money, and the method by which the payments will be distributed. We'll also discuss the steps you should take to ensure you receive your payment without any issues. Whether you're wondering if you're eligible, how to check the status of your payment, or what to do if the funds don't arrive as expected, this video has you covered. We'll also answer some of the most common questions people have about this new stimulus check, so you can feel confident and prepared. As we move into September 2024, a key question on many people's minds is whether states will continue to issue stimulus checks. These payments became a lifeline during the pandemic, providing essential financial relief to millions of Americans. Initially, most states rolled out stimulus checks to help their residents cope with the economic challenges brought on by lockdowns, job losses, and the overall uncertainty of the time. However, as the economy began to recover, the frequency and availability of these payments started to decline across most regions. Many states have phased out these programs as the immediate crisis has subsided. Yet, the need for financial support remains strong for many individuals and families, especially as the cost of living continues to rise and inflation impacts daily expenses. Despite the reduction in widespread stimulus distributions, some states have continued to offer financial assistance to specific groups of residents. These ongoing payments are often targeted at vulnerable populations, such as low-income families, seniors, and those with disabilities. Additionally, a few states have introduced new funding allocations or expanded existing programs to provide additional support in response to current economic pressures. In these states, residents may still be eligible for one-time payments or recurring financial aid, depending on their circumstances and the specific criteria set by state governments. Whether through tax rebates, direct payments, or special relief programs, this continued support aims to help those most in need during these challenging times. As we progress through the year, it will be crucial to stay informed about any updates or changes in state policies regarding stimulus checks. For those who qualify, these payments can provide much-needed financial relief as they navigate the ongoing economic landscape. In New York, the School Tax Relief Star program remains a crucial source of financial support for homeowners, particularly as they face the ongoing challenge of high property taxes. This long-standing initiative was created to alleviate the financial strain that school taxes can impose, making it easier for residents to manage their overall tax burden. The STAR program is divided into two key categories, the Basic STAR and the Enhanced STAR, each tailored to different groups of homeowners based on their eligibility. The Basic STAR credit is generally available to most homeowners who meet specific income requirements while the Enhanced Star Credit is designed for senior citizens aged 65 and older who qualify based on both income and age. These credits are not just minor deductions, they represent substantial savings that can make a significant difference in a homeowner's annual budget. For example, in 2023, those who qualified for the Basic Star Credit received an average of $778. Meanwhile, seniors who were eligible for the Enhanced Star Credit received an average of $1,407. These amounts are directly applied to property tax bills, meaning homeowners see the savings reflected in the amount they owe, effectively reducing the financial pressure associated with school taxes. The timing of these payments is also important. Typically, STAR credits are issued between August and December, which means many homeowners will see their savings kick in around September 2024. This timing is especially helpful as it comes just before the fall season when household expenses can increase due to the upcoming winter months and holiday season. In a state like New York, where property taxes can be among the highest in the nation, the STAR program is a vital tool for homeowners. It not only helps reduce the immediate tax burden but also provides a financial cushion that can ease the overall cost of living. For many, the STAR program represents a significant financial boost, ensuring that more of their hard-earned money stays in their pockets rather than going toward taxes. As we approach September 2024, homeowners across New York who are eligible for the STAR program should be on the lookout for these credits. They offer much-needed relief, especially in an economic climate where every bit of savings counts. For those who qualify, the STAR program is a key benefit that helps manage the high cost of property ownership in the state. 
Alaska stands out as one of the few states that consistently provides direct financial support to its residents through the Permanent Fund Dividend PFD. This unique program, established in 1982, distributes annual payments to Alaskans, funded by the state's oil revenues and other natural resources. The PFD is more than just a bonus, it's a cornerstone of Alaska's economy, offering vital financial relief to individuals and families across the state. In 2024, the PFD amount has been set at $1,312 per eligible resident. This sum is particularly significant in Alaska, where the cost of living is notably higher than the national average. For many families, this annual check is a crucial addition to their income, helping to cover essential expenses such as heating, groceries, and transportation, which can be more costly in Alaska's remote and often harsh environment. The distribution of PFD payments occurs in several rounds throughout the year, ensuring that eligible residents receive their funds in a timely manner. While the most recent round of payments was completed in August, there's still an opportunity for those whose applications are marked as eligible not paid by September 4, 2024. These residents are scheduled to receive their checks on September 12th. This final round is particularly important for those who may have faced delays or issues with their applications, ensuring that everyone who qualifies gets the financial support they are entitled to. The impact of the PFD on Alaska's economy cannot be overstated. For many residents, this dividend is not just an extra boost but an essential part of their annual budget. It provides a financial cushion that can help families make ends meet, especially during the long, cold winters when heating bills can skyrocket. Additionally, the PFD encourages spending within the local economy, as residents often use their dividends to pay for goods and services, thereby supporting local businesses. Beyond its immediate financial benefits, the PFD also symbolizes Alaska's unique approach to sharing the wealth generated from its natural resources with its residents. This program reflects the state's commitment to ensuring that the benefits of its rich natural resources are enjoyed by all Alaskans, not just a select few. As September 2024 approaches, Alaskans who are eligible for the PFD should be prepared to receive their payments and consider how best to utilize this crucial financial support. Whether it's saving for the future, paying down debt, or covering day-to-day -day expenses, the PFD continues to be a vital part of life in Alaska, helping residents navigate the challenges of living in the last frontier. If you're currently receiving SSI or SSDI benefits, you're automatically eligible for this $2,000 payment. The stimulus check aims to support those who are most in need, providing a critical financial boost to help with immediate expenses. For those who receive their benefits via direct deposit, the funds will be transferred to the same bank account, ensuring a quick and seamless transaction. If you receive paper checks for your benefits, the stimulus check will be mailed to you, which might take a little longer to arrive. To ensure you receive your payment without any issues, it's essential to verify that your bank information with the Social Security Administration SA, is accurate if you use direct deposit. If you've recently changed your bank account or moved to a new address, it's crucial to update this information with the SSA to avoid any potential delays. For those waiting on a paper check, keep a close eye on your mail. The stimulus check will be sent to the address on file with the SSA, so if you've recently updated your address, make sure the SSA has your current information. If you encounter any problems with receiving your stimulus check, the first step is to contact the Social Security Administration. They can help you determine the status of your payment and offer guidance on resolving any issues. Additionally, be cautious of potential scams, as fraudsters often exploit situations involving financial aid. Ensure that any communication you receive regarding your stimulus check is from a legitimate source. The SSA will not request personal information via email or phone calls. In case you have not received your payment within the expected time frame, it's a good idea to check both your bank account and mailbox regularly. If there is still no sign of the funds, reaching out to the SSA for assistance is your best course of action. They can provide specific information about your payment and help address any concerns you might have. Now, let's address some common questions. If you're wondering whether you need to apply for the stimulus check, the answer is no. The payment will be automatically processed based on your existing benefit records. If you haven't seen the deposit in your account or mailbox within the expected time frame, contact the SSA. The $2,000 stimulus check is separate from your regular SSI or SSDI benefits and should not affect them. 
If you've recently changed your address or bank account, ensure that you update your information with the SSA promptly. Generally, stimulus checks are not considered taxable income and should not affect your tax return, but consulting a tax professional for personalized advice is always a good idea.